Hi again folks, how you all doing? Uh, so my son came up on Wednesday night and uh, gave me a couple of little birthday presents. Uh, some post boxes, some pylons and a little bike shed with some bikes. So I'll, uh, we shall find homes for these I think. Uh, pylons, um, I think possibly if I model this along here, I might go there, I'm not too sure. We'll have a think about where I could put pylons. But uh, yeah, jolly nice of them. And then I came up to the layout to find coos on the line and a rogue one on top of the tunnel there and a dead one that's managed to get itself on top of a tree uh, yeah so he's got me some cows so we'll uh, I think they'll go in this field here I think I think I might paint these because they're a bit uh, a bit too clean looking you know you never see cows of that white so we'll get them all covered in mud and dung and all the rest of it that uh, cows are usually covered in but I think we'll put them here there back where they belong Okay, here's something I want to show you. Uh, in my last layout update video, I mentioned I had an idea about uh, uncoupling. Now, I've tried the Pico uncouplers, the Hornby uncouplers. Um, I've tried various suggestions that people have made and ideas that I've had for little bits of plastic and various uh, shapes. Um, and some of, the, you know, some of these things work fine, but I found they weren't working with all locomotives. And in particular... My 812 because it's got the the brake rods underneath and um, it doesn't like anything being above the track at all it can really have issues with it and uh, you know that's why I just thought no I can't use all these uh, off-the-shelf uncoupling systems they just don't seem to work with this locomotive very well um, so I kind of racked my brains to, to what to do so I've come up with this now this is a little piece of card well, it looks like a little piece of card. It's the same card that uh, the platform tops are made out of from Metcalf. But watch. Uh -huh. It goes up and down. So how's it doing that? I'll show you. So I've got a roll plug sticking out the side of my layout here. And if I push this in, that comes up. And if I pull it back out, it goes down again. Now what I've used is uh, one of these, it's a, a radio control snake. This is a uh, type of thing you would use in a radio control aeroplane uh, to link the, the servo motors with the control surfaces. I used to fly remote control gliders and used to use these things a lot. Now the great thing is because even when you, you bend them, they still work. So I've routed it underneath the layout and then up through the foam. You can just see there there's a piece of card underneath and it uh, runs the full length of it. So basically it's a, a T-shape, two pieces of card glued together in a T-shape and the control rod is uh, glued to the piece of card underneath. And when you push and pull it, it goes up and down. So I'll just quickly demonstrate it with the locomotive. Get it in position, back it up just a tiny little bit to take the tension off and push it in. And that should be uncoupled. So now I know that that uncoupling system works, um, I'll put another one in here and uh, route the, the snake back to the same place as the other one, which will be a bit trickier to do, but same principle, it should work fine. So I know there are electronic uncouplers that are commercially available, um, but uh, I would imagine, I haven't tried them, but I would imagine they pop up with a bit of a jolt, uh, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, I just thought, ah, no, I just came up with that idea. I think it's quite good fun. And it's a nice, gentle uh, way of doing it. And I'm going to paint it uh, so it matches the sleepers, um, so it'll be fairly unobtrusive. So there we are, that's the uh, working prototype of the double O bill uncoupling system. Quite pleased with that. Right, catch you later, folks.